So now that we can retrieve data from one location, that is one source of JSON data here, it's worth considering how we can go about expanding this and being able to pull in multiple sources of data across the Bureau of Meteorology website. To do this, we're going to need to have a little bit of a closer look at how they've structured their addresses. And you'll see here that this is the original JSON data that I've gone about using for Brisbane itself. Well, if I were to go up a level, you might remember that I had this here, this data, which is pretty much the same data, just represented uh, nicer. If I were to go up one more level to this stage, you'll see that uh, these observations of Brisbane, I previously selected Brisbane itself. If I now go to Brisbane Airport and open that as a fresh tab and scroll right down to the JSON data, if I skip back and forth between these two tabs to see my original JSON data at Brisbane and my second tab here at Brisbane Airport, you'll note that there's really only one difference between each of these URLs up here. This is Brisbane and this is its code here. This is Brisbane Airport and that's its code. Now I can just check that this works by skipping back over here into my Brisbane one and changing the dot .76 to dot .78 and you'll see that I can go to Brisbane Airport. So there's a couple of different ways that I can pull all of my data here and try to get, ideally, everything here out of the entire Brisbane area. And that might be that I come to here and I use Python to go to this plus an iter a, a number that we iterate through, dot JSON. And that would be relatively straightforward and easy to do. The problem is that it's also going to take a whole lot of time. A better way for us to do it would, would be to try to trawl just the anchor tabs, that is the links, here within this page itself. So if I can go and, and, and have a look at this page and just pull in all of the anchor tabs that actually link to one of these locations, then that'll be a really good start. Because you might also note here that if I go to Brisbane, so this is the one that, that's represented all pretty, if I have a look at this URL for Brisbane and the URL for its JSON data, you'll see that it's quite similar. There are in fact only two differences. For um, this part here with my JSON data, this FWO is translated to products and this .json is translated into .shtml. So what I could do is if I were to come to um, this original page and click on Brisbane, if I get Python to change products here to FWO and change the .shtml to .json, I should get to the same data. Now I can do that manually of course as I did just then, but I, I want to be able to do it programmatically so that I can do it across all anchor tabs within that page. So let's see about how we can go and do that. I'm going to leave my original page here, my original Python file, because I might need to refer back to that. I'm going to create a fresh Python file. This is going to be called Bomb Scraper. And within here, I'm going to need to install one more package, and that's beautiful soup. So I'm going to click here on Terminal, and I'm going to go pip install bs4. So this is uh, getting pip to install beautiful soup 4 for me. I'm going to hit Enter and let that go through. So as before, I'm going to need to use requests. So I'm going to go import requests. I'm also going to import beautiful soup 4. And I'm going to um, just hit Control S just to save that. So now what I want to do is I want to tell it that, hey, we're going to scrape a particular URL. I'm going to call this target URL. And I'm going to make this equal to this page here, which is latest weather observations for the Brisbane area. It's going to pull everything down out of here. So I'm going to copy that URL, Alt-Tab back out, and paste it into here. So uh, this is just going to be me establishing a variable. Well, now my uh, response data, um, and I'm going to make that equal to requests.get, and that's going to target the URL. Now, I could combine those into one line, but just we'll see why shortly, so that it, it makes more sense for me to keep that separated, except that I need to make sure that I'm calling that target URL. I'm going to do my response.raise for, oh, for status in case I get an error, but hopefully we won't have any of that. And what I want to do now is I want to take the data that it finds here, and I don't want it to, as I would have seen before, uh, response, I don't want it to just print for me that it's getting a response 200. What I want it to do is I want it to turn it into something that makes a bit more sense. And the way that I do that is I use beautiful soup. So what I'm going to say is I'm going to uh, create a fresh variable called response text, and this is going to be created by beautiful soup. So bs4.beautifulsoup and it's going to be response.text.html.parser. And what this is doing is saying, don't give me the actual response data, give me the text that comes with that response and use this just generic HTML parser in order to do it. So I'm going to leave this part here and I'm going to create a fresh line, response text, and we're going to see what the difference between these two is. If I go right click, run bomb scrape, 
you'll see that I now get all of this stuff here, which is actually the entire HTML of that page that I've selected here. So at least I'm getting a step closer. I'm going to get rid of both of these print tab, uh, print commands so that I can get a bit closer. Now what I want to do is I want to find all of the anchor tabs. So if I just scroll down far enough, I'll find in here somewhere um, uh, this anchor tab. And it's I want to get hold of all of the hrefs for every single one of the anchor tags that's in there. So what I can, can say is do for i in response text.find all. And I want to find anchor. Uh, and I might just say print i. Let's see what this does. If I go right click bomb scraper. So what this is doing is it's now printing for me each one of the anchor tags exactly as it appears. Now this is getting me part of the way there, but what I actually want to do is just get this href itself. And I can do that by specifying over here that I only want anchor tags where there is a href. So I'm saying only if there's a href that's true. And I want it to not, not give me the anchor tag itself in full. I just want the href that's out of it. So just give me this data. So now let's go right click run bomb scraper. And this is going to give me a list of all of the data that's there within it. And you'll see that if I scroll up far enough within it, I see a whole stack of these. This is the target URL that I want. All right, so this is going to do the bulk of what I actually need. Now what I could do is copy and paste all of these lines here and put them out into Excel and play with it and make sure that I can get um, the www.bomb.gov.au on the front, change the name here, change the name there, and then I'll have all of my data. What I can do though is do it here programmatically within Python. So before it prints, what I actually want it to do is I want to check to see if products is included here because you'll see that I've got a whole lot of noise elsewhere and that's because on this page there's links everywhere all over here. I'm not interested in any of these, I only want it if it's got this idea of products up here within it. So what I can do is I can say if products in i href then I want it to do something for me. What I want it to do is we're going to create another variable called output and output is going to be the string of href. Oh, except that I need to make sure that I've got my open and close square brackets here and what I want to do is I want to now print output. Now this is a small line but it's a really important one. What it's saying is ignore anything here unless it's got that word products in it. So whereas I now have all of this noise if I go right click run bomb scraper it will just give me a list of all of these things here that has products to it. Now, this does most of what I want, but what I want to do is I want to replace this products with bomb, uh, with the um, uh, with this part here. So this products, I want to replace with FWO, that stuff there. All right? So what I'm going to do next is, now that I've got this output, I'm going to say output is now going to be equal to itself with a replace and the bit that I'm going to replace is going to be products and I want it to be replaced with http forward slash bomb.gov.au forward slash fwo so this is going to replace slash products with this text with this string instead now when I go right click run bomb, stra bomb scraper it gives me all of these now this will do part of what I want but if I had a left click on this you'll see that I'm going to get an error that's because it's still got .shtml on the end. I want it to have .json on the end. So I can copy this line, Control D in PyCharm, and I can replace .shtml with .json. And now when I go right click Run Bomb Scraper, it's going to give me all of these outputs. Now I can click on this and go Go. All right, and this is going to take me to Double Island Point. So why is it handy for us to do it in this regard? Um, whereas we could have gone through and done it manually or done it by, um, by hunting and searching through uh, iteratively. Well, the benefit is that now that I have this variable at the top here that's target URL, I may want to change that. So whereas before this is just for Brisbane, let's say I want to expand this out and do it for all of Queensland. Well, back at my original value here, there's an option here for all Queensland observations. And if I click on Queensland latest observations, it'll give me a similar list but it's for the entirety of Queensland. So not just Brisbane, which will be down here somewhere in southeast Queensland. I can now take this URL, copy that, and paste it in in place of this one. Paste, and then go right click Run Bomb Scraper, and this will pull the same thing as before, but with all of the URLs. 
Now, quite handily, again, I could do this multiple times. I could, in fact, if I were to scroll up, go and do a little bit of um, testing here and come back to Australia, go to New South Wales itself, and go and find what is New South Wales or Sydney itself. All right? I could go and have a look at any of these. You'll see that they've got a really similar URL. In fact, if I come to here and change this from Queensland to NSW and that Queensland to NSW, and right click run, you'll see that my code will work regardless because of the way that the websites are all structured there. So let me control to that because no one needs to go to Q to New South Wales, we all need to be in Queensland. So from here, if I go right click run bomb run bomb scraper, this will give me a big list of these. Um, and from here, if I were to so choose, I can go and click on each one of these. If I also want, I could run each one of them through this as well and make sure that um, uh, and make sure that I'm pulling in all of say the name and the temperature from each. Given that we have the structure of that, it should actually be a really quick and easy change. What I can do is create a new Python file, and this is going to be called bomb Queensland pull. And I'm just going to copy everything out of my original bomb pool and paste it into there. And now up here, whereas I have my bomb data um, get this requests, well, what I can do is I can wrap all of this inside uh, a for statement. So I'm going to say for URL in URLs. I want it to go and uh, do all of this stuff here. So I'm going to tab all of this so that it all stays within this um, uh, this statement here. And what I want it to do is have the have the URL here not represented with a static value, but rather as URL. So it's going to in a, a list that I'm about to declare of URLs. It's going to look through each one of them and do the same data as what I had before. Well, if I now give myself a bit of space and I'm going to create a URLs variable here that's going to be a list, again give myself a bit of space, what I can do is use this data here that I've just pulled and I can copy and paste that in. Now there's one really important distinction there and that is if I copy and paste this in, let me just grab the first few, it's going to be an error because they're not separated the way that they need to be in, uh, in declaring a list. So I can control Z that and if I come back here into my bomb scraper, Whereas before I've just printed the output as this, I can add a little bit to this print statement where I can say print a um, an open quotation mark and then output and then close with a quotation mark and a comma. And what this is going to do if you just take care of um, how this is just a straight URL now and then it gets swapped into a, um, a declaration of a string here followed by a comma, I can now copy all of these Control C, come back into my bomb Queensland pool and paste that. I need to get rid of the final comma at the end, and now I have a massive list of URLs here. In fact, hideously long list of URLs here. And what that is going to do is be the source of all of the URLs that I'm going to go and hunt for. So what this should do is now go through each one of these uh, individually, one by one. It's going to pull the data from each one of them. It's going to pull the uh, turn into JSON data that makes a bit of sense. It's then going to uh, turn into this fresh variable here, bomber, pulling in the observations and the data, and then it's going to find for me the name and the dew point of each one of those items of data. So if I go right click Queensland bomb pool, this is now telling me each item, and this should be again pretty much straight up to date. To just show you how simple and easy it is to change this stuff, what I might want to do is now go um, and have a look at something here that makes a bit more sense, perhaps air temperature. I can change my dew point here to air temp and right click run and it will do the same thing as before except this time with air temperature. I may want to combine all of this so I might, might uh, change this so that it instead reads um, the current temperature at the name and then is and then add latest data air temp and I can delete this line oh, cancel that sorry I can delete that line there and now when I run this it will tell me what is oh no it's not because I need to make sure that my uh, content here is converted to a string so it's bringing out a, a digit here and I don't want it to be a digit right click run and now it's telling me what the current temperature at each one of these locations is um, I can do that and use that bomb scraper for any one of the Bureau of Meteorology locations as long as I can eventually get a whole stack of URLs there.